Yeah, it's me out here in the Southern Idaho Command where uh, it's a balmy, oh wow, that was an owl right there in the tree. Uh, <laughs> that's so, so cool, about five feet away from me. Uh, you can see it's snowing pretty good right now. And what does that mean? That means my antenna, the only HF antenna I've got, tunes differently. And yeah, I've got a tuner in the house. I've got uh, low SWR on my 7300. But um, let's see. There's a thing I like to call the tuner versus reality. Let's go back into the shop or back into Studio A and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, your tuner versus reality or better yet what the hell is ERP or effective radiated power? Let's take the example of my ICOM 7300. It's a great entry level SDR HF machine. It's got 100 watts. It does 160 through six meters. Good all around machine. It's got all the bells and whistles that you would want uh, kind of starting out in the HF world. Now let's say you hook up your antenna to the radio or to your external tuner if you want the tuner to work a little better. You hit the tune button on the radio and all is good. Uh, now you got your match, your tuner says you're in tune and you start transmitting. You're putting out 100 watts, absolutely. When it goes past the tuner and out to your antenna, your antenna may not be in tune, so you're getting something called reflected power. Let's just say you have a perfectly matched antenna. It is a one-to-one -one antenna. Well, you put out 100 watts, and you should get between 95 and 100 watts coming out. If you're like the rest of us, I put up an 80 meter dipole that I hand built years ago, and that's uh, that's kind of what I've got. I'm also limited by the fact that I have to kind of wrap my feed line through some trees. So it's not a perfect deal, and and I don't get a perfect match. So my setup goes from the transceiver, the 7300, into an MFJ auto tuner, which tunes, uh, it tunes better than the internal tuner because it'll tune things up to say five to one, as opposed to three to one for the ICOM internal tuner. Then I go into an SWR power meter, the MFJ 849, and from there it goes out to the antenna. It also reads, or it also gives you a visual representation of the forward power you're putting out, say 100 watts, 110, 150. Uh, it'll give you the SWR, the actual SWR of the antenna coming back and the amount of reflected power. Now, doing my little demo here, you're going to notice that uh, I hit the tuner button on the 7300. The MFJ auto tuner that's hooked up to the 7300 goes out, does its thing, tunes the radio, and we're using a digital mode called FT8 to test this because it puts that radio at 100% duty cycle. You don't want to use 100 watts out, so I turn it down so my effective radiated power or what I think is my effective radiated power is somewhere around 40 watts. The radio is happy. It shows that SWR is one to one. The tuner is happy. The power meter, on the other hand, is showing me what's going out of the radio, the 40 
watts that I've got going out of the radio, but it shows me effectively the SWR on the antenna and the reflected power. So now subtract this reflected power from what I think is the power going out, and that's the actual power going out of the antenna. Could be much less, in some cases, 20 watts less than I think that I'm putting out if I didn't have that meter in place. All right, guys, I know this was just a simple little uh, video. Um, this meter works both on HF and UHF, VHF. You can uh, you could flip it, it's got a switch, so you can hook up your UHF, VHF uh, antenna and your HF antenna if you want and figure out which one you want to use. I hope this uh, video helped you a little bit, gave you an idea of that effective radiated power. If this video helped you, please give it the thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Uh, the biggest thing you can do though is leave a comment, interact with the video and share the video because YouTube doesn't promote my videos, you do. All right, guys, that's all I've got. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.